last two months with Blue the Dog have been steady away with only small incremental changes. She now weighs in at about 27 kilos and sounds like a herd of horses when she runs around the garden. Speaking of the garden, she's been conscientiously working every day on her landscaping project. She seems to have developed a strong need to build what appear to be nests for lots of different stashes of her toys and her sticks. Either that or she is slowly but surely trying to dig away under the stock fence in some reenactment of the great escape. What she doesn't know is that on the other side of the wire fence is just another garden with another fence, but I will eventually get around to showing her one of these days. This being the Scottish summer holidays, we've had a break from the weekly training sessions with Jessica, but as normality returns, I'm now back on that steep slope of learning. The next steps of training Blue to walk to heel include using a toy instead of treats and also to start teaching Blue to walk backwards at heel. I think it's fair to say that the results so far have been pretty mixed, but as ever that is more down to my lack of direction than Blue's ability, as proven when Jessica takes over. In the last couple of months she's definitely calmed a bit more as time goes by and walking is getting much better and everything is less frenetic. However, she does continue to be reactive to anything she's not familiar with, including people, dogs, logging trucks, cars, log stacks in the forest, really anything new that she can't immediately recognise. So this is my next project and just goes to show we both need to get out more and see the world. This is now possible as I've modified the camper van to have a big enough dog crate for her to sleep in, which after a trial overnight trip up to Fort William is good to go as soon as I get some window blinds for the cab area. I have to say that I'm thoroughly enjoying playing tug and catch with Blue, she's an absolute natural. She definitely reflects the breed, as once she has her teeth into a stick or a toy, she'll never release them without a leave command. Bit by bit, she's staying longer on her raised bed, although I still have a strong suspicion that she just sees it as a rather generous food dispenser. So a great couple of months and I'm looking forward to the next months once I can get away in the camper van and get back to exploring the amazing highlands. It's all good.